Hi, and today we're going to be looking at how to find and replace fonts and how to find and replace words in InDesign. So to get started, let's look at how to find and replace words. This is really handy if you have large scale updates, um, a word that appear, appears seven times. Um, what we're looking at right now is a booklet. I need to update this for 2025. So I want to find everywhere that it says uh, 2024 and update that. So um, I instead of going through and reading every page, um, this is the perfect solution for it. So we're going to go to edit and then find change. That's the name of it find change and then here it's asking what are we looking for so 2024 and then I want to change it to 2025 and then what you can do on the right is you can do find next so you're asking to find it at some point in this document and um, InDesign is great it'll highlight where that's at you can zoom in to know exactly where it's at and you could say you know change it here uh, maybe for some reason I didn't want to change it here I could do find next and it would hop to the next one. I could just change like that instance, then I could do find next and, and so on. So it'll actually go through all the parts in the document that I wanna change. Um, but I don't wanna do that, I wanna change it everywhere. So let's undo that last one. Yep, and so edit, find, change. Uh, find 2024 to 2025 find next and this is the thing I love because I'm going to do change all so it actually tells me that there were six places here fantastic all right um the other thing I want to point out is let's just uh let's undo that and if you the only thing I would say to be cautious of with this is whatever you type in here exactly um if you add any spaces if you should add a period on whatever it's going to take all that into consideration so um, just make sure that when you're doing it that you're not adding extra spaces or um, any extra characters or anything in there. Um, I've noticed that before that um, either added or subtracted some spacing because I accidentally wasn't really careful monitoring that. So, all right. Okay. Um, and then the next thing I want to look at is how to find and replace fonts. You're going to do that by going to type and then find replace font. So here it pops up all of the fonts that are currently in this document and it wants to ask me which um, font do I want to replace. Um, what I could do is I could say okay where am I actually using this future? Let's just say find first. It's right on top of there. All right so it's it's over on this heading part. Um, so yes, that's what I want to do. So it's saying, okay, uh, yeah, I'm going to replace Futura and what am I going to replace it with? And it's just any of the fonts that I have um, loaded onto my software. Um, so let's say that I want to do, um, this is a cool one I just recently downloaded, uh, Filmo this guy if I'm a little type all right um if there's different font styles it'll also pop down here this one doesn't it's just regular so um let's say we're going to do it's the same thing like whenever we do the find replace fonts you can go through and click find next uh and change specific ones or you could do just change all so it changes all within that within the document um, the one thing you can't do is you can't adjust sizes. So if I wanted this bigger or smaller, I'd have to manually go back in and do that. Um, a better way to do that, if you notice you're doing this on a, often on, on larger documents, um, it would be doing uh, paragraph styles, and um, that would be good for another tutorial sometime. But if you're just looking to find and replace um, a couple of different fonts or on smaller instances, this works really, really well. Um, the one thing I do want to point out is that if you have any outlined type, um, that's not going to work because this has now been changed into pixels and so it's not going to apply to those find and replacing fonts or words um, because it's now pixelated. So just remember that whenever you are doing find and replace. All right, well that's all for today's tutorial. Be sure to subscribe so that you can be notified when the next ones are coming out. Thanks.